So what I have loaded is two surfaces. I have an existing DTM and then I have this proposed. Uh, I'm going to show you the transform surface on the proposed surface. So first I want to look at this just pick one spot. I'm going to pick this corner here and I'm going to do a tentative snap. And you'll see our elevation is 290.7792. Uh, so let's just say, like in your case, I want to move it up 10 feet. So I want to go to Surface, Utilities, sorry, Edit Surface, Surface, Edit Surface, Transform Surface. Okay, so it's going to pick up, by default, it's going to pick up my active surface, so that's proposed. Uh, my destination surface, here I can either select proposed, so it's just going to take the information, move it into the same surface or I could type in a new surface if I don't want to make any changes to my existing information I could say proposed to uh, method is going to be custom we're not going to worry about the scales and I want to pick every feature so I'm going to pick up all features and then for the original point I'm going to leave it zero 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 destination zero zero and I'm going to type in a 10 and what this is going to do is it's going to bump our elevation of every every point elevation is going to go f up 10 feet. I'm going to say apply, close. Okay, so now I need to view those features. So let's look really quick at our surfaces. So see it created our surface. Uh, we can do a quick properties. S notice our elevation range. Um, the max is 296.30 and when we look at this one we go to properties 30630 so it's 10 feet higher so I'm going to do surface view surface features propose to and apply and we, ha we should have duplicate information here now so when I rotate this I have both sets of graphics so this was the original surface this is the surface bumped up 10 feet uh, so as you can see just running that command it is exactly 10 feet above uh, where it originally was. If I do a tentative snap, it was 290.7792, and now we're at 300.7792. Uh, you can do that to just individual features. So under Surface, Edit Surface, um, Transform Surface, we can place a fence. Uh, so if I want to just pick up just features in this area and just move them up, um, we can do that um, or if I just want to move my center line up uh, I can do that uh, so we can just do multiple things we'll just put this in the same one I'm just gonna move that center line feature up applied that surface view features propose to and you'll see my center line it was right here it's now bumped up 10 feet so you can do it to individual features or uh, the entire surface by picking all features.